What's up, everybody? Rob Cash is on the set. Before we get started, any mentioning of any digital asset is not financial advice. You're an adult. Be responsible for your own due diligence. Now, this video I'm about to share with you is going to, I think it's going to be disappointing because to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm not giving up on my Pundi investment because I still understand the roadmap, but the tokenomics of this roadmap does have me disappointed. So I'm going to call this a corrective video of the Pundi X token. So far as the vision, I still understand the vision and I'm behind it. But so far as the tokenomics and what we expect from it, uh, I think a lot of people will be disappointed. And I'd rather share disappointing news than to, you know, than to not, I'd rather share the, the, the bad news than to find out and not let anyone know because it's unfair to share, you know, decent news and to not share the bad when things happen. So uh, I looked a little further and I'm going to call this the corrective tokenomics of, you know, the Pundi X token. Now, for people uh, that are eligible, you know, to stake and swap for tokens and things like that, this article is going to be linked in the description for your benefit and as well as people that want to, uh, you know, know who's excluded, you know, from staking and swapping and things of that nature. This article will be linked. Well, all artic articles will be linked, you know, so that way you can do your due diligence uh, for your research purposes. Now, the title says staking NPXS and NPXS XEM for FX token Pundi. Now, I'm going to go straight to the article that's imperative to us that need to know this. Again, for the people that want to stake, the article is going to be linked in the description because I don't want to have this video be any longer than it have to talking about those details when uh, when you can figure that out for yourself. So the article will be linked in the description. Let's move on to the disappointing news. Okay, folks, now right here over the F, well, under the FAQ, it says, why staking for FX tokens? Now, I'm just going to do the spoiler, screw staking for the tokens. I'm going to read this, and I'm going to show you how this all connect to my and many others' disappointment. Now, it says here, as announced previously, uh, before the launch of the F, uh, before the Function X mainnet, 15% of the FX tokens from the token generation event will be allocated and distributed to the original Pundiax token holders who participate in the F FX token distribution via the staking process. Okay, so remember, if you're holding the original Pundiax token, you're supposed to be able to receive the FX token for a swap if you have the original Pundi X token, just to put it simply, right? Now, let's go to the next statement here. This means you will receive additional FX tokens without converting your original Pundi X token through the staking process. So in a nutshell, these are the benefits, you know, of holding, you know, the original Pundi X token and uh, you'll be able to, you know, do a one-to-one -one swap or receive certain staking benefits for holding the original Pundi X token, okay? Now, at the bottom here, we have another token besides the original Pundi X token. Now, remember, you can swap for the FX token, one for one. Now, they're also launching, which I found out, an FX coin after the main net launch. So I'm going to read this here. The FX token is an ERC to, is, is an ERC20 token and will be eligible for a one-to-one -one swap for the FX coin after the F FX mainnet is launched. So you have the original Pundi X token, okay? And now we heard about the token generation event where you can swap and stake for the FX token right so now they're saying once the main net is launched they're going to have the fx coin which is going to be responsible for all the activity on their main net 
right? So we're talking about three different tokens. What are going to be the functions of these three tokens? Do you hold your original Pundi X token? Do you do a one-to-one -one swap for the FX token? Or do you just wait it out and just deal with the coin, which is going to receive the most utility in the first place once they, once they launch their mainnet? Now, it has here the distribution of the FX token uh, distributed if you participate in the staking program. We're going to skip past that because I'm going to leave it linked in the article because we're going to get straight to the disappointing part of the tokenomics here. Now, it has here, give me, give me a minute guys, I'm scrolling down here so bear with me. All right, do I need, uh, do I need to do KYC to stake? Now, in their wallet, in order to be able to be eligible for all the benefits that they're talking about for one-to-one -one swapping or staking, you have to do a KYC process through their X wallet. Now, it says you have to be uh, KYC compliant through their X wallet, right? So I'm going to read here this paragraph, I'm, and I'm sorry if I sound like I'm rambling. I'm, you know, I'm doing this video, and I, I, I'm a little upset. So let's do this here. Yes, to ensure compliance, we require all token holders who participate in the staking process to successfully complete and update their Know Your Customer verification on the new version of the X Wallet. Now, as greater compliance is demanded by exchanges, banks, insurers, regulatory agencies, and KYC providers, Token holders from the following countries are excluded from staking and conversion of the FX tokens in the X Wallet app. Afghanistan, Albania, Belarus, Bosnia, and Herzegovina. I hope I'm saying that correct. I'm butchering that. Okay. Herzegovina, Herzegovina, uh, Burundi, Central African Republic. China, Cote de Livore, uh, Cuba, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Ethiopia, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Iran, Iraq, Lebanon, Liberia, Libya, Malaysia, M Mian uh, Myanmar, Myanmar, North Korea. Republic of Macedonia, Macedonia, sorry, Serbia, Somalia, South Sudan, Sri Lanka, Sudan, Syria, Thailand, Trinidad, and Tobago, Tunisia, Uganda, Ukraine, the United States, Venezuela, Yemen, and Zimbabwe. And I repeat, the countries I just named are the countries that are excluded and are ineligible, not eligible, for the one-to-one -one swap for the FX token or staking in their X Wallet app. Now, the light at the end of the tunnel is that why do we want the FX token anyway? Because once the main once the main net is launched. They're going to have a token swap again for the FX coin. And the FX coin is going to represent all the utility that's going to be done on their main net. So why even bother? So, like I said, the light at the end of the tunnel is that we don't even have to be bothered with the swaps, you know. Now, are we going to be eligible to swap our original Pundi X token for the FX coin? I highly doubt it. But I'm thinking positively here, and I know a lot of people are upset because I am too. Because now that I realize, and this was smart actually, their tokenomics is a way to keep their project funded. On a business level, I am not mad. And for those that have been around, you know, the, you know, the beginning, you know, for, for this, you know, most of these uh, projects get got funding through ICOs. Okay, Pundi X was an ICO. And in order for them and any other project, you know, to keep their project alive, it requires funding. 
So it is what it is. Now, a lot of people are going to be grumbling. And I'm, I know I'm going to see, see some mean comments, you know, at the end of this video. But as DIA, I mean, DAI says, you have to put your big boy pants on. And as Rob Cash say for the ladies, you know, you're going to have to tighten up the bra strap, ladies. And we're going to have to be adults about this and understand the business. Because we're here early. That's the advantage that we do have. So when they do launch the FX token, me personally, I'm going to take a big bag of Pundi, my MPX, you know, my, my original Pundi X token, and I'm going to sell them, not swap, because I doubt if we'll be, we'll be eligible to swap one for one. So I am going to sell a bag of my original Pundi X token and use those funds to purchase and be in early for the FX coin. And if you're wondering why, you know, saying to yourself, like, well, cash, man, if you're disappointed in the tokenomics, you know, of, of the original Pundi X token, why would you want the FX coin? Because the FX coin is the, is the last step, you know, for their vision. And if you remember, these guys are set up. They're trying to set themselves up globally for for you know a, a point of sale systems which is getting adopted if you remember from the from the in-depth Pundi X video which I'm going to show a couple of articles just to give you a reminder because you have to think about this if they have a lot of activity on their mainnet think about if you would have bought Ethereum for pennies on the dollar okay and all the activity that Ethereum has you will be you know you, you will be well off right now so that's the vision that I'm having because they're setting themselves up dealing with countries like Brazil, Nigeria, and Cyprus with their uh, point of sale systems. And then, of course, with the Bob phone, the block on block phone and every device by Pundiex is going to be an active node. And they're setting up, you know, their main net to, you know, with with clients already. So let's get to the to the light at the end of the tunnel. So, so we can understand why, at least I'm letting you know why I'm going to push forward for the FX token. Now, again, I'm looking at this in the positive. Why even worry about the one for one swaps? Yes, it would have been a come up because you could have traded for the token. It would have been at eight cents. And then, you know, you could have sold off your punny and made yourself, you know, a bit of good money. But again, they are going to be burning Pundi X token. Every quarter, they're going to be burning at least a billion. Now, they have a large circulating supply, but the burn does help some. Because I am going to hold on to some of my originals. Trust me. So, let's move on, folks. Okay, folks. I'm going to link this page in the description as well. So, you can go through the... Uh, the, the utility of the FX coin with the fine tooth comb. And uh, the, the font is extremely small on this page and I can't expand it. So I recommend when you do your research to understand the utility of the FX coin, do it from a laptop that's maybe uh, with a large screen or you can hook your laptop up to your flat screen and that way you can see you know, the large writing, if you're not able to expand, because for some reason I can't expand this page, because I actually tried this on several occasions, so it's just the page. But I am going to read just the paragraph up top, just to give you a quick, quick understanding of the FX token. Well, FX coin. Let's not confuse them. So, the FX ecosystem is fully decentralized. It's designed and built to run autonomously. In uh, in uh, oh God, I'm screwing all up. Forgive me, guys. The FX ecosystem is fully decentralized. It's designed and built to run autonomously. And uh, oh my God, I always mess that up. Per uh, per per perpetuity, uh, perpetuity. Uh, you know the word I'm explaining. God, I'm just all screwed up right now. I'm actually using a magnifying glass. Uh, without the rel uh, without the reliance or supervision of any individual or organization to support this autonomous structure fx coin which is the underlying currency within within the uh fx ecosystem has to be decentralized in terms of its distribution allocation control 
circulation and the way it's uh, being generated. So I just wanted to read that to you just to give you a little bit of clarity of the FX coin. And it has here in the graph, you know, the utility and how the coin is going to be used. And like I read in the statement, it's going to be the underlying currency of their FX main net. And as you scroll down, it gets into further detail. You know, it has tipping jaw right there and it gets into further detail and it has circulation of FX coin, which I will read off in this graph here. It has financial service, infrastructure, and developer debt, providing seamless circulation of FX ecosystem. So I'm going to link this in the description, and I'm just scrolling down so you can see, you know, the activity in this particular section that I'm on in this page. So you can check out, you know, in detail the functionality of the FX coin and what's expected from it. You know, because I would go through it, but this this font is crazy and I can't expand it and we can't read it together. But I'm just showing you the graphs and all the other details that they will have, you know, uh, if you go through it yourself. So I'm going to have this linked as well. All right, so let's move on. Okay, folks, I hope you're still with me. And like I said, uh, for me, there's still light at the end of the tunnel. Now, I know you're wondering why do I have this news um, up on the screen because it's not directly correlated to Pundiex, but I just want you to pay attention and, you know, on how things are, you know, six degree, you know, the six degrees of separation amongst things in this space. And if you're familiar and have done your due diligence on what Pundiex is trying to accomplish with their point of sale systems, devices and with their Bob block on block phone they're trying to have all their devices to be active nodes and again remember they're having a mainnet launch coming up sometime this year in 2020 so what kept it positive for me I had to think back with Pundi X's partnership with Ingenico so I went back to an article and and I wanted to share this with you guys so you might see it differently but I just want to share my thoughts with you now, I'm going to read the article. It came from the Daily Hoddle, and it says uh, 10,000 retail shops in France will sell Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Dash powered by payments giant in Genico. Now, I'm going to read that again. 10,000 retail shops in France will sell Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Dash powered by payments giant in Genico. Who is in Genico partnered with again? Pundiex, which we're going to get into that, all right? So you're probably saying, why is this relevant? For me, it's relevant because by Pundiex being partnered with Ingenico and Ingenico launching, you know, cryptocurrencies into, you know, Ingenico is, is, is basically the premier point of sale system for these 10,000 retail shops. And Genico has a partnership with Pundiex to integrate their software into all of their hardware. So all of that hardware is going to be powered by the software main net of Pundiex. So do you see the activity that their main net is going to be getting through just in Genico. Okay, now we're going to get into other partnerships, you know, that we went over in the last video that gives me the light at the end of the tunnel for the FX coin. Okay, so now let's move on with it, but take a look at this again. 10,000 retail shops in France, this is just France, will sell Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Dash. Powered by payments giant and Genico. All right, so now let's move on. Now, folks, I pulled up an article by the Ingenico group on, on their page. And, and, I, and I know once I go down here, you guys are going to, you know, you might rip me or you might understand my vision. I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to read, okay? 
First blockchain-based cross-border payment made, July 20th, 2016. Now, we're going to read down here. ATB Financial, based in Alberta, Canada, transferred Canadian uh, $1,000 in Canadian fiat uh, to, <clears throat> to Rice Bank in Germany. The technology used was built by SAP and fintech startup Ripple Labs. The payment took 20 seconds to complete. Usually such transactions can take anywhere from 2 to 6 days due to requirements such as settling with the counterparty bank and reconciling accounts. AP and Ripple designed and built a proof of concept prototype in just nine days to prove how banks can improve the speed at which cross-border payments can be made. That I'm going to stop there. Now, the reason why I brought this up is because this company had the vision to work with Ripple Ripple felt like that this company was worth trying to have as a partner because I'm quite sure they don't want to partner themselves with a particular company that doesn't have reach. So a company that has the type of reach that Ingenico has to be partnered with Pundiex is big, okay? You still might look at it and see it as well, this is a loss because of your original Pundi X token. And I get the frustration. But what I'm trying to convey to you is, is see the vision. Ripple is huge. And Genico is huge. We have two huge parties partnered with each other. And I can see Pundi X being pulled up by these two giants, not necessarily directly by Ripple, but through Ingenico. And by Ingenico having such a, a quality partnerships with someone such as Ripple trying to get ahead of the game, this will pull Pundi up, Pundi X up as well. And evidently, Pun, uh, Ingenico has faith or has, you know, they, they have a, a vision. Well, Pundi X had to give them some type of vision that they have faith in in order to partner with them and use their blockchain solutions. If I, you know, conveyed that properly because I heard the fumble. But I'm trying to get you to understand what I'm seeing here. I'm not forcing you. I just want you to understand what I'm seeing. Now, do I think am I, go am I going to get rich off the original Pundi X token? I doubt it. But... Will I make some money? I think so, because I'm still going to hold my token, my tokens. But I'm definitely going to sell some for the FX token. Because remember, the Ingenico uh, product is going to be using the mainnet blockchain when it's launched. Now, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Like I said, I'm not saying it's connected to Ripple. Because again, you know, people get their, you know, they're slow on and think I'm trying to say that this connects to Ripple. No, what I'm saying is the Ingenico group have faith. And this company right here and what they're doing, because they're huge, they're global, okay? Now, remember, they're partnered with Pundiex for their blockchain point-of-sale solutions, okay? Let's move on. All right, folks, this one right here I'm just sharing just for the sake of sharing. Ripple Effect. The biggest companies that began supporting XRP in 2019. Now, I'm going to scroll on down here. And bear with me. Let me do my scroll. I'm scrolling. MoneyGram, Salt, BitPay, BRD Wallet, Trust Wallet, Anchorage, General Bytes, CoinGate, DigiCode. And what do you see right here? And Genico, all right, supporting XRP. Now, again, I'm not saying that there's any connection between Pundi X and Ripple. I'm not saying that at all because, again, you have a lot of brain dead people out there that will say that I said that, and I'm not saying that. What I'm trying to get you to see is the reach that Ingenico has, how large they are. They are a global 
company. And I think this partnership with Pundix is very big for their mainnet. That's why I'm sharing this with you. So you don't get discouraged. Yes, the tokenomics annoyed the shit out of me once I put everything together. But again, I'm going to keep on keeping on and I'm looking forward to the to the FX coin. Now, let's move on and get ready to close this out. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm getting ready to close the video up, but I just put this up here just as a reminder so you can see it on the screen, okay? Now, I'm going to go to another article that was in the last video, but again, I'm putting it up as a reminder, and I'm going to give my closing statement, so just bear with me. Okay, folks, reminder again. I'm not trying to be repetitive, but I don't want to refer people back to the hour-long video, 45-minute long video that I did on in-depth uh, review of Pundiex. Now, I'm just showing you this partnership again as a reminder why I'm still going to be bullish with Pundiex and looking forward to the mainnet launch for the FX token. Oh, I mean, the FX coin. Okay, we have the original Pundiex token, the NP, uh, the NPXS. And we also have the FX token, but the end game for Pundix is going to be the main net launch of their own blockchain featuring the FX coin. Now, let's read the article real quick, folks. Pundix and Borges Ventures enable blockchain technology rollout in Cyprus. Okay, I got to read this real quick. Again, this is just a reminder. Shenzhen, China, November 9th, 2019. Singapore-based blockchain technology developer Pundix and Cyprus-based artificial intelligence firm Borges Ventures have signed a memorandum of understanding to explore the implementation of blockchain technology for private and public sectors based in Cyprus. I'm going to, I'm going to, no, I was going to stop there, but let me, let me continue. The signing on November 9th was witnessed by H.E. Mr. Uh, Demetrius Solarius, the president of the parliament of the Republic of Cyprus in Shenzhen, China. Okay? Now, think about that for a minute. All right, this is them. These are the folks here. Okay? Now, think about what happened in Cyprus in 2012. And they're looking for blockchain solutions for the public and private sectors. Okay? Let's read that again. They signed a memorandum of understanding to explore the implementation, the implementation of blockchain technology for private and public sectors based in Cyprus. This isn't just, you know, uh, a retail system. This isn't just, you know, uh, department stores or anything like that. They're talking about public and private entities of that region in Cyprus. Now, remember what happened with the economic collapse with the bank run that happened in 2012 when people were lined up outside the banks demanding their money and the banks would not let these people withdraw their money. Well, now they're looking to implement blockchain technology. To keep everybody honest with transparency. And who do who did they come to for that situation? They came to Pundiex. Now I'm quite sure Pundiex laid it out on the table that listen, we'll be launching our own blockchain, our mainnet come 2020. I'm quite sure all of this is laid on the table. Because we're talking about private and public sectors of that region that will be working with Pundix. We're talking about anything from, from finance to vital statistics. They're looking to put it on blockchain technology. And of course, if everything works out well, it's going to be a complete rollout. And I'm quite sure they're not going to use Ethereum's blockchain for that. So Pundix are launching their own mainnet, let's remember. And what's going to be the featured currency of that blockchain? The FX token. So again, that's my light at the end of the tunnel, folks. The tokenomics pissed me off, can't lie, okay? 
It finally pissed me off. I understand some of the frustrations that people have left in the comics comments about, you know, the token. But I understand the vision. And by us still knowing about this early, we can be on top of the FX coin when it's launched. Okay? We can be ahead of the game. You can liquidate your, your Pundi X, your original Pundi X token and get into the FX coin. Because this blockchain is going to be active. With the use of Cyprus, with the use of Ingenico, and we got one more use case that you guys are familiar with from the last video. Okay, I'm just going to share this this last article. Oh God, why that's up there? I'm going to show this last article, and then I'm going to end it off. Okay, folks, this is the last and final reminder article of Pundiex Partnerships, okay? And this is just a few of them. Now, the reason why I'm still having some light at the end of the, end of the tunnel for Pundiex, because I have faith in what they're doing so far as them being successful. But so far as us, us holders of the Pundiex token being successful, this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to pay attention to the partnerships and the activities. And I also want to blame myself for not keeping up with the activity of Pundiex because being, you know, I guess uh, diverse comes, you know, comes to work. I'm heavily diverse, but the backlash to that is being so diverse, I can't keep up what's going on with my projects. So that's why, or my investments. That's why I implore you guys to do your own due diligence because I share these videos, you know, as, as therapy for me for number one to talk with like-minded people like myself and not only that, just to share what's going on in the space in case someone just uh, is, is not in the know what's going on with a particular coin that I'm interested in. So let's close this out with this last article here. Pundi X successfully completed its integration support for Verifone the X990 to enable crypto payments in traditional point of sales terminals. I'm going to read the article brief, just this top part here. Singapore, July 12, 2019, leading provider of blockchain uh, powered devices, Pundiex, has successfully completed integration support of its XPOS module on the X990 made by US based Verifone one of the largest providers of traditional point-of-sale terminals in the world to allow a wider network of retailers to accept payments in cryptocurrencies. With this integration, shops and retail outlets using the Verifone X990 with XPOS module activated will now be able to process cryptocurrency payments alongside traditional transactions. Now, the reason why I'm still excited, because you don't think that when their mainnet launch, this isn't going to be a part of their mainnet? All this activity is going to be on the FX mainnet, because I'm quite sure Pundiex isn't going to use the Ethereum network to deal with all this. They're going to migrate their people over to the Function X blockchain and the underlying currency of that new blockchain the main net is going to be the fx token you already know this information and you understand where this is going you already know about the punditships i mean the punditships the partnerships you already know about what they've been what they've been trying to achieve globally building their network and you will have a jump on the fx token and the vision of pundiex Remember, we're still early in this market, and we can still capitalize. So that's the positive of this situation. And you know what? I'm kind of glad, like I said in the beginning of the video, for those that, you know, that are still riding with me. Understand this. Us not being, you know, included in the token swap for the FX token, it was a blessing in a sense. Yeah, I know we didn't get a chance to trade our original Pundi X token, for the FX token, and we could have had a come up for the price of that token, but the bigger picture is the FX coin. Because remember, you still have to swap your FX tokens for the FX coin 
the FX coin is the end game for Pun DX's final completion. Remember, the main net launch of their blockchain. All these different activities are going to be on the FX blockchain, that network. What's going to be powering that network? What's going to be the underlying currency of that network? The FX coin. So if you already have PundiX, you already bought into that, swap that for Bitcoin, whatever it is, and then use those same monies to buy the FX coin. That's Rob Cash's take on it. I'm disappointed, but I have a silver lining with this. So to be honest, I'm not even disappointed no more. I'm still following the vision. So I'm hoping that this has been enlightening <laughs> to you as well for those that were disappointing. You know, disappointed with the original news of what companies were excluded from the token swap. And again, we don't know if we're excluded, excluded from the token swap for the FX coin. But I doubt it's highly unlikely that we'll be eligible, okay, especially here in the United States. So remember, all articles will be linked in the description of the video. Thanks for hanging out with Rob Cash. And again, do your own reset. Super reset. <laughs> Research. This is Rob Cash. Best of luck to everyone, and I'm off the set.